So Gandhi once said, in a gentle way, you can shake the world. And it got me thinking, is that really true? Can we really shake things up through gentleness? So that was the question I was on a mission to try to figure out an answer. So I hired the University of Northern Colorado's research department to go do a nationwide study um, with over 2,000 leaders in different industries to understand, is there any correlation between gentleness and effective leadership? And the results came back overwhelmingly that people said that there was a direct correlation between the people that they perceived as effective leaders and their ability to communicate um, from a place of gentleness. So a couple things that you should know about gentleness. Gentleness is defined as strength under control. It is the exact opposite of weakness. It's the ability to yield force, communicate out of fear, to get what you want. And we know a lot of leaders that do that. But it's the ability to have the self-awareness to keep all of that under control, to keep it all of it in check and make a different choice. I define gentleness to my clients as using the least amount of force necessary to actually say what you need to say, and to move things forward. So we're always asking ourselves, what choice would we make if we were coming from a place of gentleness? And that choice is gonna be different in every situation. Gentleness sometimes looks like just having empathy. Sometimes gentleness is just giving someone a hug. Sometimes gentleness is asking a question and looking at someone and go, is everything okay with you? This isn't like you. And sometimes gentleness is deleting that email because you know you're about to shame someone and you're like, I better delete this. But the next day you come back and you call them and you said, hey, can we talk about what happened or about your response in that email? Or we ask a question. Gentleness is using the least amount of force necessary. It's not backing away, it's, but it's, a, it's choosing to address it in a, way, in a way that people can hear it differently. And I think that's why it works is we live in a world where so many people expect us to respond out of fear and anger, resentment, sometimes shaming. And when we don't, I think it takes people by surprise. And I think that's why Gandhi says it shakes things up in a different way. Years ago, I went horseback riding in Germany. And while I'm, on, I'm at the farm getting the horse ready and getting ready to put the bridle on the horse, the owner stops me and she says, Justin, be gentle. These horses do everything for us. And I thought, what a great lesson in life, in leadership about how to treat animals, how to treat people, that sometimes we've all worked for leaders that used fear to, to, get, um, you know, to, to get what they want out of people. And they might get compliance, but they never get our commitment. It's people that responded gently, that took a genuine interest and care in us and communicated that way that earned our trust. And as a result, they got our commit, they got our commitment as well. So here's the deal. Something's gonna happen this week where someone sets you off. You might wanna respond out of anger or shaming. And I want you to stop and I want you to say, what choice would I make if I was really coming from a place of gentleness? What choice would you make if you were using the least amount of force necessary to actually still say what you wanna say and to actually move things forward. I hope it gives you something to think about. I'm interested. Do you think that gentleness can really shake things up in leadership, in how we parent, and how we love? What do you think? Drop a comment. And if no one tells you they believe in you, I believe in you. Hope this gives you something to think about. See you later, everybody.